Hello and welcome to Calm Lines, a space to take a little break and find a moment of calm in your day through drawing. You'll just need a piece of paper or a sketchbook and whichever tool you'd prefer to work with today. Whether it's ink, pencil or paintbrush, you're welcome to experiment. I'm going to be using a fine liner pen. I've picked this 0.5 thickness one as it's nice and new and fresh. <laughs> I'm sure you can all relate to the joy of a fresh new pen. Uh, and this has a really lovely flow over the paper which will really help to kind of relax into the into the style of drawing we're going to be doing today. I'd like to invite you, if you would like to, to make a little ritual of this drawing practice in whatever way feels good to you and helps create a peaceful environment. I often like to make a herbal tea, picking some herbs from the garden or whatever I have in my tea cupboard. Today I'm brewing olive leaf, rosemary and rose. I also personally like to work outside quite a lot. I'll light a scented candle and put on a playlist or an audio book. Uh, just anything to kind of bring a vibe <laughs> of calm to this practice. So today we're going to be working with a pattern that you may recognise from Japanese fabrics or drawings and I find it works really wonderfully to symbolise water. Firstly I'm going to draw a circle. You can work with any shape you prefer whether you want to be a bit more intricate and outline a flower or anything that comes to mind. I just find it quite nice to have a container within which to work and build the pattern into. So for this one you just start by drawing one small semicircle and then follow that again with a slightly bigger semicircle. I tend to use four lines in this pattern. You can use as many or little as you like or vary throughout the pattern but today I'm just going to focus on the four. So once you've drawn that fourth line, move over to the next in which you just draw a small semicircle again onto the side of your last drawn line. And then continue with three more lines, slowly getting bigger, but keeping a consistent space between the lines. You can also leave a gap and draw a full small semicircle separately if you prefer. I personally am not looking for perfection here. Um, and, and regularity and consistency. I just like to kind of mix things up and, and see what emerges. It gives the pattern a more organic feel but if that's not your style just go with however feels most natural to you. If you tend to be a lot more precise then you, you do you. <laughs> a small valley will appear between the two semicircles and this is where I tend to carry on the pattern adding a small semicircle again in the gap and then adding the four lines on top of that. And then you just continue filling in the space with many little semicircles in clusters of four. Don't forget to take a sip of your drink if you've made one.
I will be adding music to this video which you can draw along to but I do also have a playlist I will share if you want to draw afterwards and use that playlist for your inspiration. Uh, also feel free to make your own Calm Lines playlist that you can use whenever you're doing this drawing practice and add to it each week and feel free to recommend to me any of the tracks that you find and love for this kind of practice. One of the reasons I like to use four lines in this pattern is that I can draw with my breath which I find really helps to also bring a sense of calm. So breathe in for one line, out for the second line, breathe in for the third line and breathe out for the fourth line. So these lines kind of become a form of meditation. Alternatively you can also breathe in for lines one, two and three, then breathe out for line four as it tends to be the bigger longer line and just this really slows down the way you're drawing. My mind sometimes wonders when I'm drawing patterns or can get a little bored and distracted with the repetition so using this counting of the lines to bring my mind back to the task at hand is really helpful.
you might find your arm gets a little achy or your back a little stiff so feel free to pause, have a little stretch, make a second cup of tea and then come back to the page. And if you're finding you're getting a little bored or you've got a little lost and your pattern is a bit of a mess, don't worry, it's all just a part of the process. There's no expectations of how things should look. You can start again if you want to, but I find things get kind of more interesting if you just carry on and see not only what the page looks like at the end, but also how you might feel a bit different. Remember, this is a practice that is not really about drawing as an end goal, but just as a medium for finding a little bit of calmness and quiet amidst our often slightly chaotic days.
there definitely comes a stage in drawing patterns that my mind really starts to get quite bored and want to move on to something else and this is where I think the art of practicing something like this really comes into play is kind of allowing ourselves to be a little bit bored. I think in our very overstimulated worlds we can sometimes not have much space for boredom but in case you are also getting bored I thought just for a little added stimulation I would read to you a paragraph from one of my favourite books it's called Mindfulness and the Art of Drawing. It's by Wendy Ann Greenhow and she speaks of drawing being a mindfulness practice whereas in a normal mindfulness practice we use the body and the breath as the anchor. I will quote her from here on out. When we are practicing the mindfulness of drawing it is the movement of the pen across the page, the coordination of eye and hand and the object we are drawing that become our mindful focus. And having this firm focus is essential because without it we cannot begin to calm our minds cannot hope to find space in our heads and in our hearts or to come into a broader state of awareness of simply being. As modern humans in industrialised, technologised societies, there's no doubt that our minds are conditioned for overactivity. They jump around from one thing to another, constantly stimulated or even overstimulated by a barrage of media, social media, TV, internet, family lives, busy social lives, etc. The truth is that for most of us, unless we make a special effort, there are very few moments of silence, tranquility or peace in our days. It's harder than ever for us to find a space to calm and quiet our minds, to simply be, and yet, more than any other generation, we are probably most in need of doing so. If focusing on one thing for more than five minutes is our problem, the mindfulness of drawing offers a wonderfully simple, low-tech and creative solution. And with its unique combination of both physical and mental activity, with its coordination of hand, eye and object, the mindfulness of drawing, the simple act of making marks on a page, can be particularly helpful in getting busy, overactive minds to settle and focus.
Thank you so much for drawing with me today and I hope that you've enjoyed this line drawing practice. Enjoy the rest of your day and if you're ever feeling in need of it, remember you're always welcome to come and seek some calm amidst the lines.